All right, in this video, we'll take a look at the temperature sensor on the Garmin Phoenix. Today, we're just going to go for about an hour walk. It's about minus 12 Celsius outside. So in order to get a good reading, we have to uh, not have the watch touching our skin, which might affect the sensor. So we have outside of our jacket. And uh, I'll put a link in the description for the official weather station, which we're only a few kilometers away. So you can take a look at the additional weather information for today. But uh, we're just going to go for a walk and see once we're done or how long it takes to get an accurate reading. All right, so we're about 30 minutes into our activity. The manual does say to wait about 20 to 30 minutes before getting a reading. So what we're going to do now, we're halfway through our walk. We're going to remove the Phoenix from our wrist and we're just going to carry it by the wrist straps and see if that will make a, a difference. So our actual temperature is closer to minus 12. So we've got a little ways to go. All right, so about another uh, 15, 20 minutes into activity, we do have the Phoenix clipped to a carabiner. We did get it to minus one, but just by holding it in my hand, it raised the temperature up to plus five. We're still quite a ways from minus 12. Now you can also get a, a Tempe wireless sensor. So if you don't want to use the sensor that is on the Phoenix, you can use that. And uh, but if you do want to use the sensor, you can always use the carabiner attachment. So instead of using the wrist strap, you would have a carabiner, and that would hopefully give you a better uh, accurate reading. Now I am using the GPS right now to track this activity, so you can see where we're at, and also uh, compared to uh, the weather station that's only a few kilometers away. I'll post that into the description. But there you have it: temperature sensor on the Garmin Phoenix like the electronic compass, barometer, altimeter, also the temperature. So you click on the orange button here for setup. We'll go down to our setup and we're just going to scroll down to our sensors. Now if you're using a heart rate monitor, you can still use that. Simply go into mode, 